Ukrainian President Volodymyr Zelensky has thanked Chancellor Olaf Scholz for ongoing military support. Thank you for providing Ukraine with comprehensive assistance, especially military, since the beginning of the full-scale Russian invasion. This is very important. This is the foundation of our successful struggle for Ukraine's independence. Thank you for your leadership in strengthening our air defense system, which saves the lives of Ukrainians, Zelensky wrote in his Telegram channel on Friday. Zelensky made the remarks following the meeting with Chancellor Scholz in Germany. The Ukrainian leader added that during the meeting with Scholz they also discussed the implementation of the peace formula and preparations for the second peace summit. Thank you for doing everything together to bring a just peace closer, Zelensky wrote. Zelensky is participating in a meeting of the contact group on Ukraine's defense in Germany where he held talks with US and German defense ministers Lloyd Austin and Boris Pistorius. The Ukrainian president plans to visit Italy, where he will take part in the Ambrosetti International Economic Forum and hold talks with the head of the Italian Council of Ministers, Georgia Maloney. It should be noted that Germany has supplied Ukraine with Leopard tanks that are widely used in counteroffensive against Russia. Defense Minister Pistorius announced on Friday that Germany will supply Ukraine with 12 additional PZH-2000 self-propelled guns and 77 Leopard 1A5. Billionaire Elon Musk says he didn't allow the activation of Starlink satellite internet terminals over occupied Crimea at Ukraine's request in 2022 as this would have violated US sanctions against Russia. He wrote about this on his ex account. According to the businessman, in 2022, his company received a request from the Ukrainian government in the middle of the night to activate Starlink in Crimea within a few hours. At the same time, they didn't receive any permission from the US government to circumvent sanctions. Musk said that by complying with Ukraine's request, his company would be committing a criminal violation of American law. He also recalled that Starlink is a commercial system, not a military system. Use of Starlink for communications, including military communications, is fine, just like the military uses the internet in general, but if we deliberately engage in explicit acts of war, then we are making Starlink a military system and other countries have every right to shoot down our satellites, Musk wrote. Starlink disconnection scandal in Crimea. Writer Walter Isaacson wrote about the Starlink shutdown in his biography of Elon Musk in 2023. According to him, the businessman was afraid that the Ukrainian armed forces would use the technology to strike at the Russian Black Sea Fleet. Musk, in turn, said that he did not disconnect Starlink in Crimea. He rejected Ukraine's request to connect it. There was an emergency request from government authorities to activate Starlink all the way to Sevastopol. The obvious intent being to sink most of the Russian fleet at anchor. If I had agreed to their request, then SpaceX would be explicitly complicit in a major act of war and conflict escalation, he wrote. Mikhailo Podolyak, an advisor to the head of Ukraine's president's office, called Musk's actions a mixture of ignorance and a big ego, which resulted in numerous human casualties. The US Senate demanded an investigation into SpaceX after it admitted that it had blocked Ukraine's Starlink satellite internet service in Crimea. Musk himself said he did not consider himself a traitor over the incident. It is worth noting that this is not the first scandal involving Musk. Last year, his company SpaceX informed the Pentagon that it refused to finance Starlink satellite communication services in Ukraine. Eventually, the US took over the costs. Это склад был. Домой бегите, куда вы пришли Заходите, вот только где выходили. Никуда не там делать.